What's up everyone, it's your boy NornRad89 here, bringing you another ranking video today. I caught Conjuring, The Devil Made Me Do It just a few days ago, so now I've seen all the Conjuring films. So today I'm going to stop and rank all eight films that are in the universe, from worst to best in my opinion. This is just my list, so what that means is I would love to hear from all of you in the comments section. Share your lists, I would love to hear from you guys. Now let's get down to this ranking. Roll it. So there are currently eight films in the Conjuring universe that we have so far. And of course, there has to be a bottom one. And for me, at the bottom of my list is going to be The Curse of the La Llorona. This one is just a movie that, uh, if out of the spinoff movies, it just is the most bland and most B-movie type of all of them. It's just very standard scares and all that kind of stuff. And it relies heavy on the jump scares and the CGI and all that kind of stuff. And I just don't think any of it is that good it's that scary and i think the character in this one is the weakest of the side characters that we have from the conjuring universe and we have a lot of wasted potential too in terms of the actors and actresses in this film and everything they got some really good ones and they just like i said are wasted potential in this storyline that is just a very bland b-movie type horror film Next up, number seven is going to be The Nun. This is another spin-off film from the Conjuring franchise. And The Nun, the problem with this one is it takes a very long time to take off in terms of just like, you know, pacing wise, like we have a very horrific beginning, but then after that, we spend a good 45 to 50 minutes just of exposition, talking, people walking around, and I think the writers kind of wrote themselves into a box once they decided to do this, this storyline in this certain time in this area and the locale. It's just not that great at all, and I feel like this one has probably the weakest writing out of all the films on this list. Next up, number six is going to be Annabelle Creation. This one I've seen on a lot of people's lists pretty high up. And for me, just Annabelle Creation was one that I felt very bored with this one. Like, you know, I just wasn't that interested in the storyline, the characters, or anything like that. I feel this is another one that relies heavily on just the horrific imagery and the CGI effects and the scares to really carry the film. And they're not like, they were some pretty good horrific scenes that's why this one's a little bit higher up than the other two below this but the storyline for me this is the one that I actually caught myself almost falling asleep on so that's why I was like I don't know why for some reason it just didn't grab me it didn't have me or anything like that like the other ones that are higher up on this list. And number five, we are here at the top five. And if you haven't yet, consider dropping a like and hitting that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all the content that I put out. And here we are now. My number five pick is going to be Annabelle, the first spinoff film from the Conjuring series. This one was definitely one for me that I didn't, I went into this film prepared to hate this movie. Like I really didn't like the Annabelle character. I wasn't interested in seeing a spinoff film. So when I went to see this one, this was one that I was just prepared to hate this movie. But it actually has a pretty good pace to it. It's pretty interesting. It's got a really good nostalgia vibe to it. And it has a lot of cool written things in the film that are very small aspects of the film that end up taking place later on that, you know, give you hints to things. And I really like that. It's not like blatant out there, like right in your face telling you it. It's more like little hints, little things you have to pick up on and it builds tension and builds tension. And yes, it is kind of repetitive on like the scaring and it's just, you know, this pregnant woman or a woman with her baby after it's born, just walking around the house being scared or fires or horrific things happening. But I think this one has a better cohesive, more central story compared to the other ones. And it is, is more committed to what it wants to be. And that's why I think Annabelle is pretty good and beats out the other ones lower on the list. Number four for me is going to be Conjuring 2. This was the sequel to the popular movie The Conjuring. Finally getting to see Ed and Lorraine Warren tackle another mystery, you know, a supernatural one. But this one takes place in, I think it's England or London. It takes place overseas, this one, so it's a little different. But it's kind of the same central storyline of a family that's being haunted by a spirit. And we have, a, basically, I think it's all girls, the family, and they have a mom who's a single mom. And it's got a good European vibe to it. But I feel like this one, the reason 
reason it's this low on the list, on number four, it's still a good film. I would still give this film like a 7 out of 10 probably. But I feel like this one, it just juggles too much stuff. This is the longest in runtime out of the films on this list. And I feel like it just juggles too many things. We have the nun storyline being introduced into this film. Then we have the family in Europe going through their thing, which is similar to like an Amityville horror type vibe thing. And then we have the Warrens kind of battling it out with this, like trying to get the church to believe them and all this kind of stuff. And the girl faking the exorcism. It's just like a lot of stuff too much. And I feel like it's the least focused out of all of them. And I don't think this one's that scary at all either. So this one, it, it did, it did, I like it, but it, I wanted it to be so much better, especially with how good the first one is, because you're going to see that one a lot higher up on this list. Number three for me is going to be the most recent one in the Conjuring franchise, and that's The Conjuring, The Devil Made Me Do It. And this film is definitely, I wanted to say, like with the eighth film, definitely a fresh one. It has a lot of cool takes in this film with having Ed and Lorraine Warren tackle this new occultist villain that is, you know, it's really interesting with that satanic worship villain status versus Ed and Lorraine Warren. It's like light side versus dark side. And we also introduce a character who gets arrested for a murder. So you add in like the law enforcement and kind of like, you know, the law system aspect to it too. So this one was more of a detective story. And I feel like it's a lot more niche and tight and I like it and I was on for the ride and I was interested in the story. I think it's the least scariest out of all the films on this list but for me I was really interested in the story and I was happy with how this eighth film came out. Number two for me is going to be Annabelle Comes Home and this one like oh my god this one was this is a big jump from three to two. The three is like a seven or a 7.5, but this number two one, I would probably get like an 8.5 or a nine out of 10. I had a blast with this film. This Annabelle film is what I wanted. It ties into the Warren family and all that kind of stuff. And you really get a more sense of their home life. And you know, that focuses mainly on their daughter, Judy, and the babysitter and the babysitter's friend character. But it has all these storylines that it juggles with these characters, but I feel like it meshes well and they all get treated with respect and like I said the fact that it had a lot of also it has a lot of cliche horror stuff in this film but in that third act it takes such a twist and really just flips everything on its head and really uses that to sink you in and then like flips it on its head and I really loved it and like I said this one I had a blast with all the characters in this film even uh, Bob the guy across the street that loves the babysitter and wants to hook up with her even him like he has a story arc and it's still really good like I said all the characters in this film and I think this one has some really good scares in it and it's the most action-packed especially that third act I think this one's the most action-packed but it doesn't feel like a mess it actually feels like it's earned so that's why I really like this film and coming in number one first place for me is going to be the one that kicked it all off The Conjuring introducing the Warrens this was the film that kind of put these this genre of horror films back on the map because for a while like the poltergeist and spirit type movies were kind of dead you know scary movie kind of played it out with like making fun of them and all that kind of stuff and then the conjuring came out and it really just brought this genre back to life introducing ed and lorraine warren some of the greatest characters in like a horror franchise ever so and i think this one still is by far the creepiest scariest and the like just in the terms of the way it's written the lighting the cinematography everything james wan did for this film was was perfect this one like i said is probably another nine out of ten these top two are really great films i really had a blast with both of them and yeah the conjuring like it's not a knock on the franchise to say that the first one is the best it's just you know it's just really great film you know nostalgia wise it had a lot of power to it and you know you got to respect it that it kicked off this eight film franchise so many spin-offs and you know we'll probably get more in the future so like i said the conjuring definitely a special film influencing a lot of stuff that came after it thanks for sticking around with me everyone i hope you enjoyed this ranking video of the conjuring films like i said hit me up in the comment section with your list i would love to have some healthy cinema debates with all of you have a safe and happy day everyone peace out